Viewers, after the Haryana victory for the BJP and Jammu and Kashmir boost for the INDIA bloc, the stage is all set for the last electoral battle of the year 2024. The Election Commission of India will announce the schedule of the Maharashtra and Jharkhand Assembly elections today at 3.30 p.m. It's a battle for survival for satraps in the 288-seat Maharashtra Assembly and a war for prestige for 81 seats in Jharkhand. Now, along with assembly poll dates, the poll panel could also announce dates for 50 bipole seats. In Maharashtra specifically, the ruling coalition, Mahayuti, which has BJP, the Eknath Shinde-led Shiv Sena, and the Ajit Pawar-led NCP, is facing a stiff challenge from the Mahavikas Aghadi Alliance of Congress, Sharad Pawar-led NCP, and Udav Thakre-led Shiv Sena. It won't be wrong to call it a one-of-its-kind assembly election in Maharashtra because the split-up factions of Shiv Sena and the NCP are battling it out for survival in the land of the Chhatrapati uh, Shivaji Maharaj. Now, in Jharkhand, on the other hand, Heman Soren is hoping to ride on the sympathy wave over his arrest and give a tough fight to the Bhartiya Janta Party, which has been cornering the JMM on the issues of corruption and demography. But even before the dates are announced, the EVM doubters in the opposition camp are back with the bizarre conspiracy theories. Congress leader... Rashid Alvi has claimed that the opposition should insist on ballot paper voting because if Israel can hack pagers, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who has good relations with Israel, can actually get EVMs hacked during elections. Can you believe it, viewers? This is what a seasoned politician, a senior Congress leader has alleged. The pagers parallel to the EVMs has now led to a fierce war of words between Congress and the BJP ahead of the announcement of the poll dates. Listen in. Maharashtra can the अगर फ्री एंड फेयर इलेक्शन होता है जिसकी उम्मीद मुझे बहुत कम तो भारतीय जनता पार्टी का सफाया हो जाएगा अगर इसराइल 600 किलोमीटर दूर से घर बैठे बैठे पेजर और वॉकी टॉकी के जरिए लोगों को मार सकता है तो ईवीएम की तो कोई औकात ही नहीं है और प्रधानमंत्री के बहुत अच्छे रिश्ते हैं इसराइल के साथ Israel in Mamlat Kandar expert. This is the EVM ka bada kail kahi bhi ho sakta hai aur uske liye Bharati Janta Party chunao se pehle ye sare kaam kar leti hai. Congress's Rashid Alivi and other leaders are saying if pagers can be hacked then EVMs can also be hacked. They made the same bizarre claim in Haryana too. This means writing is on the wall. They have accepted defeat even before the polls have started in Maharashtra, in Jharkhand, because they know in Maharashtra, while BJP has done Vikas, BJP has done work for the Virasat of Maharashtra, Congress has only done vote jihad in Maharashtra, in Jharkhand they have only done Bhrishtachar and corruption, and therefore they have given up even before the elections have been started. And it also is an admission that EVM is a bahana, parivar ko ek aur haar se hai bachana, this is the conditional commitment they have towards constitution. So viewers, you heard this war of words between the Congress and the BJP on the issue of EVM raised by the Congress party. Now the poll panel has also responded to the opposition with a firm retort. Chief Election Commissioner Rajiv Kumar has once again asserted that EVMs are 100% foolproof and people show their faith in the electoral process by participating in elections. Listen in. Sawal to... सवाल का जवाब पब्लिक देती है वोटिंग में परसेंटेज और वोटिंग में पार्टिसिपेट करके पब्लिक जवाब देती है सवाल का जहां तक ईवीएम और इन सब का प्रश्न है वो 100 परसेंट फुल प्रूफ है मैं कई बार बता चुका हूं फिर आज अगर ये प्रश्न उठेगा तो फिर बताएंगे वहां पर